Stand up and say a bit loudly. Ready? One, two, three, start. Guru Brahma, Guru Guru Devo Maheswara, Guru Sakshat Para Brahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama, Suklam Brahma Vichara Sara Parama, Adyam Jagat Vyapinim, Bina Pustaka Dharini Mavayadam, Jadhyanda Kara Paham, Astes Patika Malika Bidadati, Padma Sane Sanstitam, Banditam Paramit Bhagavatim Buddhi Pradam Saradam, Nachorya Hariyam, Nacharaja Hariyam, Navatri Vajyam Varakari, Vyaye Krite Bardatae Banityam, Vidyadhanam Sarvadhanam Vidyadhanam Sarvadhanam Pradhanam Okay. All right. Uh, we are discussing about... Oh, pause that one. So, what is today's date? Uh, today is a Sunday, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day is a fun day. Actually, why fun day? If you learn with fun, you can memorize very easily, isn't it? If you learn with the force of somebody, then you are not going to learn anything, right? And in Anupam Vidya Sadhan, we want to make the study fun, right? Sometimes teacher acts like a joker. <laughs> Sometimes students look like a joker and they act like a joker. What to do? Why joker? It means they become happy, no? Okay. But if they always become joker, then they will not get chance in any Nepali film also. No problem. One day, uh, the, our students will be the directors, producers, then actors. And if there is any role, then they can call me. I also will act, no problem there. All right. That is future matter. Present matter is Sunday means presentation day. So after completion of some topics, we have categorized the students or means uh, group the students in different groups. All together, seven groups. Group A, group B have already performed as usual. Now it's the turn of group C. I will call group C members over here. Group C members will present themselves afterwards who are interested to comment so they can comment okay so with interest if you come that is much better right so for that you have to listen very carefully without wasting time let's welcome on the stage group member from group c the leader miss sweta sreshta okay sweta sreshta is here miss Prajaswi, uh, Prajaswi Khanaka. <laughs> and none other than <coughs> Christina Chaulagai. <laughs> Urf Babita Chaulagai, right? Okay, so now it's their turn to uh, present. All right? A very warm good afternoon to you all. As you all know, it's me, Smita Shrestha and my friends uh, Krishina Zawlagai and Praswi Kharka standing here in front of you all to present on the topic invertebrates. Before starting the topic, I'd like to thank our science teacher, Mr. Isol uh, to give us such an opportunity. Now, without any delay, I'd like to start the topic, uh, invertebrates. So, invertebrates are those uh, animals who does not have backbone on the body. I, out of uh, nine phyla of kingdom animalia, the phylum orthopoda include a large number of insects. Some ins insects are useful and some are harmful to human beings. Insects like silk moth and bees are useful to us as they as silk moth provides us silk thread and honeybee provides us honey. So the next topic is silk moth. Silk moth is a very important insect to us. It forms a quality fiber called silk. Uh, mainly two types of silk moth are reared in our country. They are airy silk moth and seri silk moth. Airy silk moth 
uh, feed on castor leaves and semi silk moth feeds on mulberry leaves. Uh, so you can see here the classification of silk moth. Kingdom uh, Animalia, Phylum Orthopoda, Class Insecta, and common name silk moth or silk uh, worm. Uh, the process of rearing silk moth for obtaining silk thread is known as sericulture. And the next topic is external structure of silk moth. As you can see here, here is a picture of the uh, female moth and male moth. Uh, the silk moth is creamy white in color. It is about two to three centimeter in length and shiny in nature. The body is divided into three parts. They are head, thorax and abdomen. Uh, head, it bear a pair of antenna, a pair of compound eyes and sucking type of mouth parts. Thorax, it is divided into three segments. They are um, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Out of uh, one pair of uh, legs originate from each thorax, abdomen, it is hairy. It has ten segments. Uh, the abdomen of female is larger than that of male, male for reproduction. And the next topic is life cycle of silk moth. As you can say, see here, different stages of uh, life cycle of silk moth. Uh, the life cycle of silk, uh, silk moth completes in about 45 days. The life cycle of silk moth has four phases. They are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. So now I'm going to explain about uh, egg of silk moth. <coughs> Immediately after mating, the female lays about uh, 300 to 400 eggs in mulberry leaves. Egg laying is completed within 24 hours. The eggs in the beginning are whitish, small pin head size. Later they change into grey in color. Uh, the egg should be kept in such place of temperature 18 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade. So the next topic is larva. Uh, a silk moth passes through five sub stages during the larva phase of its life. These uh, five stages are called instars. The larva that comes out from the eggs is called first instar. It starts. Uh, to eat voraciously, it means it, uh, it keeps on eating continuously on the mulberry leaves and grows very quickly. After four to five days, it comes inactive. Uh, it becomes inactive and first in start starts to molt. It means they start to uh, change its skin. During molting, it stops feeding for 20 to 24 hours. After the fourth molt, a pair of long sac like silk plants develop on the lateral side of body 5 is in star. The larval stage of a silk worm completes in about 25 to 32 days. Now, the next stage of life cycle of uh, silk moth is uh, pupa. In pupa stage, the larva caterpillar gets enclosed in the cover of fine thread called cocoon. The cocoon is a white. Uh, thread, white uh, thread, white or yellow uh, thick oval capsule. The caterpillar larva changes into uh, chrysalis inside cocoon. It is inactive uh, stage of uh, silk moth. The pupa stage of silk moth complete in about four, 12 to 14 days. Silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon of silk worms. So last stage of uh, life cycle of silk moth is adult after uh, active metamorphosis the pupa changes into an imago that is adult or silk, silk moth the imago breaks the cocoon to come out from it it cannot fly immediately thus it tries its wings and fly it survives for about five to seven days after it emerges from the cocoon the adult silk moth lays eggs after its maturity so now for further explanation i like to call my friend miss prajaswi khadka explain about the topic economic importance of silkworm. Due to rearing of silkworm, silk thread can be obtained. The economic condition can be improved by se uh, selling of silk. The uh, mulberry farming can be done in the white area and economics, uh, economic status can be uplifted by selling mulberry fruits. The intestine of silkworm can be used as surgical string. <coughs> So our next topic is characteristics of silk. It is soft, strong and durable and shiny thread. It is strongest and longest natural fiber. It can absorb water easily and it doesn't it does not decay easily. Um, and our next topic is honeybee. Honeybees honeybee are social insects. They tend to live in colony. They are known as useful insects like silk moth. The study of honeybee is known as metallurgy and its farming is called apiculture um, its classifications are kingdom amelia phylum arthropoda class insecta uh, genus epis okay. 
so as you can see in the figure uh, external structure of bee uh, the body of a honeybee is divided into three parts they are head thorax abdomen head it contains a pair of antenna a pair of compound eyes three sim three simple eyes and mouth part thorax it is a board it is a board part it it is further divided into three sections prothorax mesothorax and metathorax a pair of wings are de developed from mesothorax each thorax bear a pair of legs limbs and appendix abdomen it is the longest part it has nine segments in each case of worker bees the last segments are fused to modify to modify to from a sting from from a sting so our next topic is organi organization of colony there are three types of bees in a colony they are the queen the drones and the workers the queen she is the largest bee she contains 32 chromosomes and she is fertile she can lay 5 50000 to 60000 eggs within 2 to 3 years she secretes a chemical substance pheromone and spread the spread to the members to recognize the drones they are the laziest they are the lazy bee bees and they take part in reproduction they contain 16 chromosomes the worker bee they are smallest bee and they are sterile it means they are infertile uh, female it it means they they do not lay eggs as they contain the big the busiest bee they they have different roles like collecting uh, nectar protecting hives uh, guiding hives they they contain 32 chromosomes so for our next topic i like to call uh, my my friend babita chawla guy Explain about the organization of colony. Now my next topic is swarming. Swarming it is the process in which the hives split into two due to formations of two bee, two queen bees, or if the queen bird is a nuptial flight. It is the process of mating a drone and queen bees at sky during evening. She collects large quantity of sperm so that can be used for laying fertile egg. Now our next topic is life cycle of bee. Here you can see the picture of life cycle of bees, honeybees. The life cycle of bees goes through four stages or phases. They are egg, larva, pupa and adult. Egg. A queen bees can lay 3000 eggs per day. Their size is similar to pen heads. They are laid in the honeycombs which is empty within three days. The egg has and larva are produced. Larva. Newly formed larvae are white and micros microscopic. The larvae are fed with royal jelly by worker bees for three days. They are voracious. They continuously eat for five to six days. For rest of the days, honeybrits or bee breeds is supplied the larvae's mold four to five times. After 16 to 24 days, they change into pupa. And our next topic is pupa. It is passive stage. The formulations of adult start when a fully matured insect swarm, then it ruptures the wall of pupa adult. The fully, the fully grown insect that comes out by rupturing the wall of puparium is called adult. Its wings are wet, it rides the wings and fly away. So our last topic is economic importance of honeybee. Mm, they, the economic importance of honeybee are they are vital pollinator. They helps to yield the food. They gives us honey that is rich in vitamins, water, minerals, in mice, etc. Bee webs is used for making candle, cold creams, and shaving creams. Honey supplies us vitamin A, B, zinc, and calcium, etc. Beekeeping, beekeeping helps in improving the economic status of people. Thank you. Now, now for ending our presentation, I would like to call Sweta. So oh, this is the ending of the presentation. I would like to conclude the presentation in this way. Thank you all. Uh, thank you all for your time and cooperation. Thank you. Okay. Practice makes man perfect. 
परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस मेक्स पर्सन डबल परफेक्ट इज एन इट राइट सो एक्चुअली वाई आर वी परफॉर्मिंग दिस एक्टिविटी सो दैट इन योर फ्यूचर वेन यू गो इन क्लास इलेवेन टुवेल्व बैचलर लेवल मास्टर लेवल पी एच डी लेवल और एम फिल लेवल इन एनी लेवल यू कैन प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन राइट अदरवाइज वी कूड जस्ट कम इन साइड द क्लास एंड जस्ट गिव लेक्चर एंड गो लाइक दैट वाई सो दैट इज क्वाइट ओल्ड मेथड इज एंड इट थैंक यू ग्रुप सी श्वेता प्रजस्वी एंड क्रिस्टिना यू कैन जॉइन योर प्लेस द चैप्टर वॉज इन वर्टिबेट्स सो नाउ इज द टर्न ऑफ द कमेंटेटर्स टू गिव देयर कमेंट सो हु इज इंटरेस्टेड हु इज इंटरेस्टेड टू गिव द कमेंट प्लीज कम anybody you can give a comment you can give your comment who is going to give it dilip okay dilip come let's welcome dilip for his comment actually i i could call the person but if the person comes with interest that is better no the person has got many things to say whether the person likes Or dislikes, or what are the good points? What are lackings? Isn't it okay? Dilip, come. Today's presentation was so much nice and effective for the lesson we have prepared, and the, and they have made the so so much nice presentation, and they have fully explained the, all of the chapters, and they have done nice. Thank you. commentator from boy side now let's call one uh, commentator from girl side also but if there are more from boy side also no problem eh girl side i think three girls are left right so anyone girl come women's circle okay sadik sir come sadik sir will come now because at least there must be two commentators no and how you felt so without any hesitation you can say because it helps others to do much better in next time right in my opinion the presentation was uh, very good um uh, they explained it very clearly and we can really understand and i'm very proud of my friend sweta <laughs> thank you did it so you are doing well you are doing well and uh, even inside the class the sound of prasi was not that much loud but she was speaking loudly Actually, sometimes what will happen? We become quite nervous when we go in front of the mass, right? So this activity helps to minimize that nervousness as well, isn't it? Right, students? So perfect practice is essential, and perfect focus is also essential. Right now, you are in class ten. Some time before or some years before i was also in class 10 but right now i am in class 10 i have just achieved lot of things so now your turn in which field you are interested focus on that and classroom is not the place to distract your mind study time is not your time to distract your mind do one work at a time if you are reading please focus on reading if you are writing focus on writing understood or not but mainly don't disturb yourself actually why do we say don't disturb yourself when you start shy talking you are disturbing yourself or not and next person also will be disturbed that's why please be focused be concentrated and be the person with goal you must have one goal se means what is your goal gpa for now just think how to deserve gpa for to deserve gpa for you must have four and 90% marks minimum in each subject all subjects 90 means heap heap hurray 
GPA 4. At least, if you deserve GPA 4, then we also can say, yes, our student has deserved GPA 4. Yes or no? And next thing, it is not impossible. Why? Many students, they have deserved. <coughs> when this system was started, from whole Nepal, only two students deserve it. Only two were there. But in second year, there were 92. But during COVID time, 10,000. <coughs> because it was given by many schools themselves, no? Now, from this batch, again it will come. Who are the genius, who are not. Now, the challenge is for you. Because SE 2078 result is going to be published very soon, within this week. And your result will be published next year. You have got sufficient time. But don't say that there is sufficient time. Time is limited. See, today one day gone. Today is gone, day gone or not? Now you have to start from right now onwards. And whose duty is to demonstrate next week? Please stand up, Group D. Prasamsa, Chitiz and Samiksha. So, be prepared. What is your topic? Sorry? History of Earth. Your topic is History of the Earth. I hope there must be competition in presentation as well. Right? And at the end, we can find out among the seven groups, which group's presentation was the most fascinating and praiseworthy. Till next week's presentation, thank you. Bye-bye.